This video, sponsored by, Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. Before getting started, please accept my apology for making this video in a lower resolution. I am still under quarantine, and didn't get the chance to access the desktop computer. If you found this tutorial useless, please let me know in the comments section. I will recreate this tutorial in higher resolution. Anyway, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling Venom. I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution at 24 frames per second to get the cinematic look and my duration is 20 seconds longer. Now the first step is to create a new solid layer. I am calling it reflection comp and then hit OK. Now go to the effects and the presets and search for fractal noise. Apply it onto the layer and let's adjust a few settings. Change the fractal type to the max. And then open transform, and uncheck this uniform scaling. You'll be able to scale the width and height individually. Now change the scale height value to 10,000. And it will look like this. Now we will add some movement on this noise. So make sure you are at the first frame. And then add a keyframe on the evolution, and offset turbulence. Then go to the end keyframe position, and change the evolution value to 180 degrees. Also, change the offset turbulence X value to 1700. And it will start moving right away. Cool. Now import your logo into the project. I am using this Venom logo, but you should use your own logo, to avoid the copyright problem. Place it right above the Venom logo, and then we need to adjust the size of it. So open scale, and change the scale value to around 25%. I am just trying to fit my logo right inside my frame. Now, one thing to remember, these steps only work on bright color logos, so I am changing the color of my logo. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the fill. Apply it onto the layer, and change the fill color to the white. Now I don't want space this area in the reflection layer. So let's select the reflection comp, and change the scale size to a lower number. So that it can cover our logo. Now right click on the reflection layer, and pre-compose it. I am calling it Reflection Comp, and choose to move all attributes into the new composition. Let's right click on the logo layer, and pre-compose it as well. Make sure to select move all attributes into the new composition. And then hit OK. Now we will use the track mat option. If your track mat tab isn't available here, then click on this toggle modes button, to switch between. By the way, I am working on the MacBook, so I don't know how F4 key works here. Maybe F4, or function F4. Anyway, change the track mat to the alpha mat. And the logo should look like this. Let's make it metallic. Select the reflection layer, then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC glass. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, open surface, and change the bump map to the logo comp. And it will start reacting right away. Then make sure the property is set to the lightness. Now change the softness value to around 40, and height value to 30. And everything else will remain the same. Now open shading, and change the ambient value to 0. 
diffuse value to 0, and specular value to 100. Also, change the roughness value to 0.5, and metal value to 0. You may be wondering, how do I know the exact values? This is because I am recording this tutorial 8th time. Again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC blobby lies. Place it right below the CC glass, and let's adjust a few settings. Open blobbiness, and change the blob value to logo comp. And it is looking much better. Now change the cutaway value to 0, and softness value to 30. Now open shading, and change the ambient value to 0. Also, diffuse value to 0, and roughness value to 0 0.5. And this is how it looks now. Not bad. Let's add light animation on it. Go to the first frame position, then open light in CC glass. And then add a keyframe on light height. Now press U, to reveal keyframes. Then grab this keyframe, and place it on 10th second position. Now change the light height value to negative 65. Or a lower number, where the logo doesn't visible at all. And this is our light animation. Cool. Let's select both layers, and make a duplicate of it. Select the bottom layer, and let's call it Reflection Red. Now in the CC Glass effect, change the light color to the red. But you won't be able to see anything here. Because we need a change a little. Select this layer, then go to the effects in the presets, and search for the CC Radial Blur. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. Change the type to fading zoom. And amount value to negative 30. And quality value to 100. Still, it is not visible that much. Because the shading is too faded. So again go to the effects in the presets, and search for the curves. Apply it right below the radial blur, and then click on the channel, and change the channel to alpha. Now click on this graph, and change the curve to something like this. I don't know if you can see it on YouTube, but this is looking better. Now select the top layer, and open its keyframes. Then grab these keyframes, and place them to the right. It will create the variation in the light of both layers. My system is not capable of playing this video, so I am just showing the still frames. Now the last step. Minimize all layers to get some room. Then create a new null object, and place it on top of all layers. I am calling it scale. Then go to the end keyframe position, and then add a keyframe on the scale. Now select all bottom layers. Then grab this pick whip, and drop it onto the scale layer. These layers are now connected with this scale layer. Now go to the first frame, then change the scale value to 75%. And now we are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I'll see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace. Design video products faster, with Envato Elements. Get unlimited download after effects template, stock footage, fonts, music files, and web templates. Visit the Envato Elements. Check the first link in the description.